The Indian Air Force and the United States Air Force are set to conduct a pioneering joint exercise featuring the B-1B Lancer strategic bomber in South India. This collaboration highlights the resilience of their bilateral ties despite ongoing trade tensions. A recent assessment by a high-level Russian delegation has revealed that India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited possesses approximately 50% of the necessary infrastructure and expertise to produce the advanced Su-57 E stealth fighter jet domestically. This finding is pivotal for enhancing Indo-Russian defense cooperation, particularly in light of India's ambitions for self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Ministry of Defense has decided to abandon the plan to acquire three additional Scorpion submarines from France due to high costs. Instead, the focus will shift to acquiring six German diesel-electric stealth submarines under Project 75I which promises advanced technology and better value. AMCA program in India towards prototype realization with Bharat Electronics and Larsen and Tup forming a strategic consortium. This partnership aims to minimize capital during the initial phases of development while enhancing India's self-reliance in defense manufacturing. In a significant shift in global non-proliferation norms, U.S. President Donald Trump has ordered the Pentagon to resume nuclear weapons testing, effectively ending a 33-year voluntary moratorium that began in 1992. This directive comes amid rising tensions with Russia and China, who have conducted subcritical nuclear experiments, prompting concerns of a renewed arms race. Armenia's defense minister, Surain Papikyan, has officially denied any rumors regarding a multi-billion dollar arms deal with India for the acquisition of advanced Su-30 MKI multirole fighter jets. This announcement comes as Armenia seeks to modernize its air force amidst a strategic shift away from traditional Russian suppliers. DG Propulsion has made significant strides in indigenous aerospace innovation with its DGJ-40 microturbojet engine. Recent testing has demonstrated the engine's impressive capabilities, marking a pivotal moment for India's defense sector. In Savitri recently made a port call at Port Louis, the capital of Mauritius, as part of efforts to enhance people-to-people -people ties and maritime cooperation between India and Mauritius, the visit showcased the Indian Navy's operational capabilities, technological advancements, and rich heritage. Indian Air Force is set to enhance its Tejas MK-1 of fighter jets with the Astra MK-2 beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile by the end of 2027. This integration represents a significant advancement in India's defence capabilities and aerospace ambitions, particularly in air superiority missions. DRDO is advancing its sonic missile capabilities through Project Vishnu which focuses on the extended trajectory long-duration hypersonic cruise missile. This initiative has successfully navigated initial developmental stages and is now awaiting approval from the Cabinet Committee on Security for further funding and accelerated prototyping. HAL is advancing India's aerospace self-reliance with the development of the Hindustan turbofan engine, a 25 kN afterburning turbofan. This engine is intended to replace the current Russian L-55I engine used in the intermediate jet trainer Yashas, marking a significant step towards indigenous propulsion systems.